Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to our Let's Learn Aven Colony. Now, we're still playing the beta version of the game. I think it's been updated once since we've started this series. But let's get back into it, shall we? Do, do, do. Now, what did I queue up? Oh, right. I'm going to upgrade, or I did upgrade the energy batteries. Currently upgrading. Right. Okay, now, let's check all the mines and the nanite processors. Okay, you're tier two of two. One of two. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade you. I think we're okay-ish on energy. Oh, uh, I had to idle them, huh? Insufficient power because it's the winter. Here, provide power then. Speaking of power, let's put some more in, shall we? We doing apartment wise 16 of 16 huh how's this habitat it would appear that we've got plenty of space trying to get to population 100 which is really pretty much the goal in this particular episode now we've been collecting the zorium uh, minerals which is for the uh, the higher end uh, reactor higher end generator right here and it does provide a lot of power but it also creates um you know a lot of uh pollution and whatnot so it's good but my my thing with the zorium armor and this is or excuse me zorium generator uh is that you know you get dependent on it because it produces so much power and then eventually unless you complete the objective which in this case um is to get the earth history center uh, if you dawdle too much in the scenario, in any of the given scenarios, and you use that type of power generation, what happens is you run out of the resource, and then <laughs> you've depended on it, and then you've got problems. So, just kind of a heads up. Just be careful with that. Scientists figure out how to manufacture Xeno Incense out of Xeno Sage. I don't think we actually have any Xeno Sage. I'm pretty sure we're not collecting that anywhere. No, we're not. Which we should probably look to do. Let's uh let's speed things up, times two speed. Get back to, um, we'll get back into like springtime, and then we'll look to do that. Is that what you are right there? Let's take a look here. Crop overlay. Inedible crops. Xeno sage. Oh, there's some decent Xenosage right here, actually, we could grab. I mean, it can't do anything right now, but I guess we could go ahead and... We could go ahead and put it in. I, I, well, let's just speed it up. Let's get to the spring. I'm going to need to upgrade storage. I'm going to need to get us some more water. Put it right there. Export 250 barley. 
Okay, for what? What do we get for doing that? Alright, we'll finish our current trade. Energy depleted. Oh, right. Okay, so absorb. We need to get some more power, actually. Alright, let's do that. And to make the Xeno Sage into something, we need a chemical plant. Is that right? I believe so. Or a mill. Yeah, I think it's a mill that would allow us to do that. We need 44 nanites and 22 power. Okay. Damn it, I need even more power. All right. You're absorbing, you're absorbing. Guess we're gonna have to wait on a mill till next season. Well, maybe not, we'll see. Still not done with this, huh? Wow, the population's happy. Oh, we've got some crime now? Really? Crime level's minimal. Okay, research is done. New mission available. Build a chemical plant. All right. You can do that. How's our power situation? I uh, actually think I want to build some more power first. We'll, we'll get back to you, chemical plant. We'll get back to you. Almost there on the population goal. More storage. Okay, we can upgrade you. This, this looks good. Grab that. Pro
Purpose is good. Food's good. Freedom's good. Access to consumer goods. They oh, all right. Average happiness seventy eight percent. Oh man, storage is not. I thought that was going to add a lot, but apparently that's not enough. Okay, well. Put another storage facility in then. I hope you're keeping the happiness of your colonists in mind as you grow your Win colony. a referendum. Remember, okay. We're all in this together. Your objective for this mission is to win your first referendum election. Keep your colonists happy. You'll need at least 50% of your inhabitants, uh, inhabitants to be happy to win. First referendum will occur next year. So you win the vote and then you get access to different policies based on winning. So it is somewhat important. We did that objective. Battery idled. That's fine. They really want us to build that thing, huh? I don't remember if the I don't remember if the uh, Xeno incense. It might actually be the chemical plant. It's either the chemical plant or the mill. I I don't remember which. To be honest, we'll have to experiment together. Your quality seems okay. Now all this time too, we've been storing up that fancy mineral right here. So if we do want to create that generator, we will certainly be able to. And again, ultimately, we want to build... Where is it at? Earth history. 360 nanites and 80 power. We can probably save that up. Surely we can. I should probably put in another place for them to shop. That's like the one thing they're kind of complaining about. We could put a retail center in, like, over here somewhere, potentially. That would, wouldn't be bad, right there. Thirty-eight nanites. I mean, it's an investment, but let's do it. We don't have much of such as that. Actually, I think it's our only retail center. We've got that and, like, what, a bistro? Yeah, there's not a whole lot in the old entertainment department here in our colony. <laughs> That's okay. We're all, about, we're all about business first, right? Business first. That should address this issue. Consumption. When it's done. Here, we'll go ahead and speed things up a little bit. we go. What? Insufficient power? No, no. Provide power. As you recall, the Constitution guarantees your citizens the right to vote on their colony governor. It looks like that time is upon us again. Copy that. Sounds good. Okay, go back to absorb. Absorb. I like to have a lot of extra power, as as you could probably tell. <laughs> okay, how are we on the food situation? Food situation is excellent. Water situation is fine. Storage is good. Okay, I think we can build some more power and then we can put in the chemical plant like they've been requesting. Continue this line right here for power.
Let's check real quick. Let's see if we've got a crime problem yet. There's a referendum election coming up soon, and I have some feedback from your colonists. Very low, very low, very low. Why is it kind of a different color there, though? It doesn't look like it's very low. Okay, you're absorbing. Chemical plant. Let's put you out here because you're going to make things kind of funky. That's a technical term. <laughs> uh. Three hundred and sixty nanites. What a bit. And eighty power. Main storage is good. Air quality is Relatively good. Let's double check here, though. Yeah, over here, it's going to take a dive, right? Okay. We could just put an air boss, filter in I over here. Some feedback to help guide you in the upcoming referendum election. Places you at 89% of the vote. You need the majority to continue governing. Doesn't have enough tunnels to help me get around. Doesn't take the law and order seriously. Air quality in my part of the colony is terrible. Yeah, okay. Well, we're addressing that right now. So that should take care of the air quality issue. And then we haven't put in any, like, any kind of police, so I guess we could do that. I've consulted with Commissioner Veronica, and I'd like to... Manufacture mine mold, huh? Serve your people. Let's see. Antibiotics? I don't we even have a hospital? No. Um Xeno incense. Increases the colonist's happiness, less effective than bliss, but no withdrawal symptoms. Yeah, let's make some of that. And what do we need for the mind mold? We need Antari, which we don't have any of yet. That's fine. Average happiness, 88%. That's not bad. That's not bad. We've used 88% of our housing capacity, huh? Hmm. I've consulted with the inhabitants of the colony, and they've given me some feedback that might help. I have to walk too far to get to my job. Too many people where I live. Oh, that's... That's this deal here. I could put another one in, like, maybe over here? Did we get a Habitat 2 over there? I'd have to put it like over here, which I guess would be okay. It's a lot of nanites though. Sheesh. All right, I guess put that in. There you guys provide power, please. Here, let's put, let's make this one low occupancy. Maybe we can get people to move over to this other habitat. I 
I mean, as I look at our road system like that's one of the things they've complained about, I mean... I, I mean, all in all, it seems like, you know, seems pretty solid to me. I mean, yeah, they, I mean, they gotta, they gotta drive a little bit. Can't, you know, sorry about that. And we've got main, you know, main tunnels going through everywhere, so. I don't know. They gotta complain about something, though, right? Building destroyed by lightning. It says the tunnel was destroyed. Okay, well, which? Oh man, I am so happy to be here on Avon Prime, Governor. It's a lot nicer. I here don't see anything going. missing. Oh, right here. Okay. Congratulations on your referendum victory, boss. New mission available. A, for you from the inhabitants a skyscraper. Okay. Incense production halted. No resource selected. Oh, we're not bringing in enough. That's what the deal is, huh? That's why it halted. We can use some potash there to bring in some extra crops. Absorb. Why are you building so many of those, Mal? Just build the other generator. No, no, I don't want to. Because ultimately what I want to do is enough resources to build this right here. You need 80 power to build it. I have to maintain it. Aha, that's right. What does that mean? Well, what that means is that we can use these battery packs if we need to. We just got to save up the nanites. So that's kind of the plan here, just to try to keep things status quo. Now, we have access to policy policies now, since we won our first referendum, so we could do rationing, we could do water rationing, job switching ban. Oh, that's interesting. Not transfer new jobs if they already have one. Okay. Prevents all immigration. Hmm. That's useful if you kind of want to control things. Ability monitors electricity usage of all citizens and habitats in skyscrapers, reducing their electricity usage by two each. Hmm. Martial law? And they got a whole bunch of stuff. Now, you can see some of them are, are blocked out because they have a requirement like this requires a hospital or what have you. Drone auto repair. Any damaged structure if they are idle. Oh. Okay, yeah, let's do that. That's nice. All right, let's speed things up. See if we can get enough resources here to build this. Might be able to. What other little improvements could we make along the way? Oh, potash? Sure, why not? Get 
get another synthesizer, I suppose. That's principally what we're waiting on, is nanites. Might not have been the best place in the world to put that, but eh. <laughs> Let them complain about the traffic. Whatever. I don't think they will. Just gotta get through another winter. Which looks like it'll be fine. The music's cool. Are you idle again? Yeah, zero available. Because we went into the winter and therefore our Xeno Sage stuff dried up, right? Because you can't do it during the winter if you just have a farm, which is why we don't have a resource. Which is okay. Now, will this auto get repaired then? We have that policy enabled. I'm assuming yes. This is new to me. I haven't dealt with this before. Where you get the notification. History Center. Oh man, that thing is holy crap, that thing is gigantic. Uh well, I guess we could put it right here. That's pretty cool looking. Gotta admit. You oh, are you still exporting that other deal? Is that like an ongoing trade deal? It kind of seems like it. Here, do that. Need more storage, okay. And there it is, in all its glory. <laughs> the Earth History Center. Okay, folks, so here's the deal. So Avon Colony is going to be, up, up, you know, updated often since it's in a beta. And I've pretty much accomplished what I wanted to, to do in this sort of limited Let's Learn, Let's Try series. I wanted to show you the game and kind of what you could do and what the possibilities were as the game currently, um, you know, is in, in its current state. Excuse me. So... This is September of 2016 when I am recording this, and my plan is to go ahead and end this little series with this episode and then return to Avon Colony, perhaps at a future date, uh, when more things have been added and it's a little bit uh, more polished, though it has a pretty high level of polish even in its current state, I think. So I hope that you've enjoyed Avon Colony and exploring it with me, and if you have, please consider hitting the thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I am Mal. 
and I will see you later.